And we back! Today we got rid of every normal starter in the NBA. I get I mean Miles Bridges is in the free agency. Technically he didn't start this year. So he he sits in the free agency as the third or tied for the second best player ball. Uh, we eliminated all starters, normal starters. Now, don't go out there and argue with me who's a starter, who's not. I went based on basketball references, starting spots, all right? So take it up a basketball reference if you disagree. Today, we're simulating three seasons. And this is a challenge. Like, normally, a video like this is more of an experiment. What team has the best bench is the, the obvious experiment of today's video. But no, we got three years to correctly predict what team is going to win a championship. And if we don't, uh, one of y'all will get in the jersey. You know how it goes. So all you have to do is leave a like and comment down below your Twitter account. And that's how I reach out to the winners, all right? So let's quickly go across the league and figure out what's going on. Jordan Poole is the Michael Jordan. Uh, Maybe not the Michael Jordan, because there's not that big of a gap between him and number two. But Jordan Poole is the best player in basketball right now. This season, Jordan Poole did start over half half the games. But we know that in the in a healthy world, which is what we're living in, where Wiggins doesn't miss that amount of time, he's a sixth man, and that's what he had been. So, cool. Um, Malcolm Brogdon is the second best player in basketball with Miles Bridges. Uh, Bobby Portis is third. Emmanuel Quickly. It's kind of funny that the top three candidates for uh, six man of the year are three of the top five players in the league. I mean, it makes it just makes sense. We got rid of the starters. Those are the best people off the bench. All right, so what I want to do is quickly go through every single team um, so I can try to make my pick. Every single year, I get one guess to see who I think is going to win a championship. And again, three years. We also got a draft class, but it's not Victor Women Yaman's auto-generated draft class, so maybe that can help us in year two and year three. I think the way I'm kind of looking at it is like having a star like Bobby Portis in this universe... And then also good role players around. Like, that start of five ain't too bad, for all, all things considered. That's not a bad start of five. So I might end up picking the Bucks. But, I mean, look, the Sixers, the Sixers look good, man. The Sixers do look good. Now, this is another extreme circumstances. Derek White started 70 out of his 82 games this year. So you can make the big argument that he's a starter, Kenny. But, again, we're living in a world where there's no injury. So Robert Williams, if he had been injury-free this season, he'd be starting alongside Al Horford. So we got rid of Robert Williams, even though he hasn't started a ton of games. So uh, seeing this, you know, Gallinari's no longer injured in this world, but Blake Griffin at the five is kind of holding it back. The Celtics might be my favorite so far. Plumlee, ooh. The Clippers might be the team, bro. Actually, now the more, the more I look at it, the more that depth I was just ooing about, don't look that crazy. Um, but two only being 74 is kind of kind of weird. But th I mean that this is a team that has depth, but they, they got BJ Boston Jr. I don't know. Let me keep going. Like I only get one pick. Like the Grizzlies look kind of solid too. They got the guy who never turns the ball over. They got the best shooter in basketball. One one of the best shooters in basketball. They got a good front court between Salty Aldama, Xavier Tillman, and Brandon Clark coming off the bench. And they got our our, our guy, John Conchar. Okay. Atlanta Hawks. Also look kind of good. They got the rookie AJ Griffin, Sadiq Bay, and, and Yekka. I'm going with the Atlanta Hawks. My, my pick right now is the Atlanta Hawks. You know what? I've, I've spent too much time convincing myself of other teams. The Atlanta Hawks are my pick this season to win the championship. Or it, uh, are they? Because the Knicks look good too. This is definitely one of the most deep teams of basketball for real. Um, and they got a good top four, five, five you can argue. And Derrick Rose is going to get PT. Not only is Derrick Rose going to get PT, he's going to start in this universe. Lakers got Shaq Harrison at the one. But they got some depth. Uh, Austin Reeves as an as 81 is really, really funny. Christian Wood starting there, and he's one of the best players in ball. The Nets actually got a, got a little bit of depth, too, you know. You got to look at those top six and try to figure out what it is. But in my mind, I'm still going to Atlanta. JK, Pelicans, final guess. Final guess, I'm going, I'm going Pelicans as my pick to win the 2023 NBA championship, all right? Here are all the other teams. My 2023 NBA champion, the, the Warriors look kind of good too. I, I switched it up too much, but the Pelicans is my final pick. And if I'm wrong again, I got a couple more guesses. So I'm going to go to the All-Star Draft because I want to see what players end up making the All-Star game. Um, oh my God, I was about to say, the, the Wizards like that? Nope, they not. I want to see what teams end up making the All-Star game. Who's going to average the most amount of points? All-Star Draft sees Malcolm Brogdon and Christian Wood be the captains. Um, so that's, oh, okay, wait, wait. Actually, you know what we got to do? We got to go into the draft, start the draft, simulate the draft. Okay. Um, ben Simmons, he's back, baby. Ben 10 is here. And he's shooting 43, four, four, what is that number? 46% from three. He just needed every other start in the league to skedaddle so he could do his thing. How many attempts, though? Look, he does 15 attempts? Man, that's only at the half, halfway mark. Uh, this is such a glitch that, like, Tari Eason is a two-time all-star even though he's a rookie. Shaden Sharp is a two-time all-star even though he's a rookie. 
Um, whoa, look at these all-star starters, boys. Nick Richards, NBA All-Star. What is Christian Wood? Is Christian Wood only average at 21 and 11? That's good. I, 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 I'm not mad at it. But I mean, Malcolm Brog. Oh, see, that's what I was here for. Somebody's value had to go up. And get, he's back to 50, 40, 90 for the second time in his career. He also did it with in, in Milwaukee this year. He's back doing it. But this is the MVP of the league. You don't average 29, 6, and 5 on 50, 40, 90 and not win MVP, right? There's no way he don't win MVP. And he's the all-star captain. I don't want to look at everybody's stats because I do want to be surprised when the end of the season comes around. I mean, look at that voice on the pool. Um, Trey Murphy, show me something, man. Show me something. I'll pick y'all to win a championship. That's, that's, that's fine. Most improved player candidate for show from five points per game to 22. Did I make the... I'd probably make the wrong... I should have just went to Celtics. I should have just looked at Malcolm Brogdon's and his stuff. Oh, wait, are we going to get trades? I didn't even think about looking for trades. Let's see. Oh, my God. We got a good amount of trades. Okay, it's only five of them. Ricky Rubio got traded for a pick. Kim Birch got... Why are you trading a first-round pick for Kim Birch? Oh, well, we in a different universe. Kim Birch might be a, you know what I'm saying, an all-star snub this year. Robin Lopez, Vizier Todd. None of these trades. Okay. Anyway, um, I, sh I should have stuck with my gut. If my team didn't even make the playoffs, I'm bogus. I'm going to be honest with you. I I'm bogus. Yep. I I Why did I not go with them? I knew he was going to be incredible, bro. 50-40-90. 29-5-6 and six again. Benedict Matherin averaged 29 as well. The efficiency, not as good as Malcolm Brogdon's, but the rookie coming in average of 29 is OC. That is crazy. Horton Tucker wins six man of the year. Uh, Nas Reed wins DPOY. I ain't trying to hear no Nas Reed defensive slander because in 2K, Nas Reed won DPOY. Matter of fact, um, uh, Timberwolves fans, take this screenshot right now so you can show it on Twitter. DPOY, Nas Reed. Are y'all some most improved too? You know what I'm saying? Quinn Snyder, uh, uh, 56 win team, Atlanta Hawks, who also was a team I was thinking about. Um, okay. Cole Anthony, what did you, what did you do? 25, six, seven, and seven. We'll round up for you, Cole. All right. Josh Hart, 10 rebounds for the big body, small forward. Um, the Norman Powell averaged 25. Okay. I see you. I see you. And we saw Nas Reed. He was doing great stuff. The Anthony Melton averages 22. Quickly averages 23. Bagley. Man, he's putting up very similar stats to his rookie season. We got rid of every starter, and you you didn't even... Okay, whatever. But it was all, all the second team. Tari Eason is a rookie. He's there. Christian Wood is there as well. Third team, we see D. White. Yeah, why did I not pick the... I feel like picking the Celtics was a cheat code. That's why I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I ain't, I ain't want to root for the Super Team. That's the Super Team. Even though the, they... I don't know how many games they won, but I'm just saying. Dennis Boone Jr. averaged 20. That's fun. Isaiah Stewart with 14 and 10. Denny with a double-double. A lot of people are averaging career-high rebounds because every nobody can score. Like, if we jump into one of these games, you're like, ew, this is the NBA nowadays? Absolutely. John Isaac, TJ McConnell, the Anthony Melton, Robert Covington, and Nas Reed. Chet. Chet was an interesting one. We got rid of Jay, we got rid of Jay Will and not Chet. Uh, blame basketball rep. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Blame basketball rep. Dalen Terry, DT. Stop messing, with, man, stop messing around with DT, bro. Oh, J hey, Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis. They said he was the worst draft pick of all time. That's cap now. All right, so now we go into the playoffs. Dude, the Pelicans didn't. Oh, they're there. Whoo, I thought they didn't make it. I thought they didn't make it at all. And look, no, the Boston Celtics didn't make it. Fraudulent. Did they make it? Well, are they going to make it? Actually, they might make it. They did make it. But, I mean, it's a seven seed. They're not winning the championship, right? Oh, my. Thank God I didn't go with them. I almost did. I almost did. And they hit the MVP as a seven seed. Uh, Gary Trent averaged 27. Uh, Kobe White averaged 26. I see you, Cole, man. I see you, boy. Uh, let's see. Steel's leader in the NBA, DeAnthony Bell. No, that's crazy. Block leader in the NBA is Shaq, Ijax, and then Yekka Kongu, Charles Bassey, who per 36, I was about to say, per 36 might be crazy, but I forgot. We got rid of everybody. Assist per game, TJ McConnell, Tyus Jones. Um, field goal percentage, you care about that? It was Montrezl Harrell. Three-pointers made percentage-wise is... Luke Kennard, I say he's one of the best in the game, and he is. And then makes is Isaiah Joe, Benedict Matherin, and uh, Jaden Hardy. Oh, Jaden Hardy, what did you average? 23. Man, the rookie class is crazy. I, don't look at the splits. Don't look at the shooting splits. It's not, it's not really important right now. It's not really relevant. All right, I'm going to just simulate this entire first round and hope that my three-seeded Pelicans end up winning. They get out of the first round. All right. All righty, boys. Oh, and then also... The MVP of the league calls an upset. The Chicago Bulls get eliminated in six because Malcolm Brogdon is Malcolm Brogdon. I also see the upset of the one-seeded Golden State Warriors. So that, that is insane. THT off the bench with 25-4-4 on great efficiency. 
six free throws in that game. Oh my god, y'all lost a game seven when you shot do, 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 quick man quick. 15 more free throws. Oh, I'm sorry. 15 more free throws than the opposing team? Dang, that's not a game you should lose historically. And they did. All right. And, but that's that's why we like this. Because there's not top end, top end talent, there's going to be a lot more parity in the league. And my Pelicans are in the conference finals. And same thing Boston Celtics, though. So that's, I could have just, oh, and didn't I pick Atlanta at first? I think I picked Atlanta at first. I, I, I had Atlanta. Well, I also had like 90% of the league, whatever. All right, here we go. 1-1 one, one series. So we're losing. Oh, come on, Pelicans. Please fight. Please fight. One game away. What, what game? Okay, so the Celtics, I said they weren't going to make it. And they, they I mean, Malcolm Brogdon putting up triple doubles in the game seven. I mean, what more can you want? Game seven, come on, come on. If I could get it right in the first year, then I'm doing something great. It like revances to the finals. I mean, anything can happen, but that's a big, that's a very big lead. And I, I know Trey Murphy not letting that, that lead slide. He did it. I'm talking about Trey Murphy. The MVP was Jose Alvarado and Malcolm Brogdon. Okay. All right. This is the series. This is the series. This is the series. Are we ready? Can I get it right first try? That would be insane. Game one is a win for my Pelicans. Oh, we might end the video. No, we not. Because I actually want to see how the rookies will come in and dominate. Um, we're down 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. Come on, please. 3-2. One game away. Game seven game. All right, game seven on our home court. Don't let this play-in team, who I was just talking trash to, come out and win this NBA championship. It's close-ish. Not close enough. Bro, I'm just... No. I'm just like that. I can predict what team is going to win the championship. Like that. Jose Alvarado, man. I thought it, I did it because I thought Trey Murphy was going to snap. But instead, it was Jose. Jose, Grand Theft Alvarado. Only one steal. But we going to act like it was way more than that. Well, no jersey for none of y'all, boys. <laughs> uh, no jersey for none of y'all. See, you, you thought this was going to be a challenge that Kenny failed. But apparently, I just, I just got it like that. The Nets won the lottery, okay? I don't know what this draft class holds. I, again, it's not one that exists in real life. It is a random auto-generated one. So let's see what this first overall pick is. It's going to be a guy, a center. Ooh, 7'3 center. He's probably a stud. Oh, my God. He immediately comes in and he's the best player in the NBA at 19. He immediately comes in and he's the best player in the league. He's at, at a well above average three-point shooter. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Is he about to West unsell this and win MVP as a rook? He might West unsell this and win MVP as a rook. What them, what them sh uh, shot tendencies like? Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see what the rest of the draft looks like. Uh, we got an 85 up top. And then, hey, I mean, Max Moreland could come out there. He's also a seven-foot center who could come out there and potentially do some stuff. They don't like he got the offensive bag as the other do. But, I mean, yeah, anything is really possible. A point guard, uh, Drew Gregory. Okay, all right. What if I predict the champion again? Can I do it two years in a row? Now, that, now that's the challenge. I do want to say nobody signed Miles Bridges last year. He did not even play a second. And that's confusing to me. Um, he's got offers now. And that everybody has money because we got rid of starters, which means that we got rid of all the, the high um, draft pick, no, the high salary cap holding players. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, let's see if we a few days to free agency and see what people sign because that can determine a lot. Um, 76ers, the, uh, the Warriors just got two of the best centers on the market. Why did they need two of them? I don't know. I didn't even recognize that THT was now a point guard in game. I know he ended the season as the point guard um, with the Utah Jazz, but I didn't know they actually gave him that position. So W2-2K, maybe. All right, can they repeat? Yeah, they could. But I, I low key, oh, they picked up John Isaac. That's kind of a good acquisition. I'm not going to bet on anybody to repeat in a challenge like this. So we got to go find who our next guy is. Um, Chris Dunn is not a starting point guard of that, but I don't like that small four position. I might, nah, nah, nah. Keep it moving. Don't make your, don't make your. Uh, the Thunder now that Chad is an 82, Pokel's off the bench at an 80, and TAC is now the starting point guard. OKC is my my favorite at the moment. Sharp is up there in 83 overall. Jordan Poole is by far the best player in the league. I might go with the, I can't say by far, I don't know yet, but I, I, I might go with the Warriors simply on the depth. They got three centers that are really good. Um, I might go Warriors, yeah. Yeah, Miles Bridges is over there with the 76ers. It's not a bad team, but I think I'm going Warriors as my pick, man. Ooh, no. Atlanta Hawks, I'm going Atlanta Hawks. They got the depth, bro. Look at all these players, they got 77 in the book. I'm going Atlanta Hawks as my pick, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Atlanta Hawks is the pick. Um, until 
See, this guy looks really good. Ben Simmons is now the super six man because he's a center. Uh, I'm going to Atlanta. Atlanta made some noise last year. They made some noise last year, but now they got they got even better, I would say. The best player in basketball is Jordan Poole, but that rookie comes in tied for second. And if he don't go out there and dominate, then something is wrong. But also, I didn't recognize. Oh, never mind. I thought the Utah Jazz had more than one top player. I'm, I'm going with Atlanta, man. I'm going with Atlanta. That's my pick. Atlanta Hawks. Make it happen. Jordan Poole was the MVP, man. Um, this guy came in immediately, started to dominate about 18 and 12, four assists. Should I have went with the Warriors? Because I had it there. I had it. I saw that they had the depth of the center position. I switched it up. Uh, Poku was really good off the bench. DPOY goes to chat, running the same pose as um, po Poku and chat twinning. Davion Mitchell's most improved. Steve Kerr. They won 66 games. Oh, man. I should have just stuck with them. What did I do? What did I do? Who are you? Sixth overall pick, I guess. And um, yeah, you. Whoa. This guy was elite. He was elite. 50% for the field. 36% from three as a center from Mexico. Okay. All right. I'll see you, my boy. Um, I shit. Yeah. Now, why does the Atlanta Hawks not have made any noise? Oh, they didn't want to see it again. All right. So we cool. Um, the, the Pelicans are really good, too. 55 wins on a year. 55 wins. So, I, I, you know, I got a good eye for these talent, but I guess I should have just went with them. But again, anything can happen in the playoffs. Just because you got the best regular season record don't mean nothing, but they got the MVP and the best record in the league, so who knows? It's not by Lotto. Atlanta's like that, and they ended on a 10-game win streak. Point differential-wise, they're better. Atlanta was the right pick all along. John Wall's back into form. Hmm. He also didn't play for two seasons, according to 2K. Um, where is it? Okay, Sadiq Bay with about 19 per... They just shared the ball a lot. That's what this team was about, sharing the ball. Um, yeah, 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 we did it. We're doing good things. Let's see if we got somebody that, like, was OC when it came. 30, th four players averaging 30-plus. Those players being Sexton, Monk, Sharp. Year two, Sharp. Bro, Sharp is on pace to be the all-time lead scorer. <laughs> He's on pace to become an all-time lead scorer. Let's be real. Um, there's no injuries in this universe, and he is, like, a flamethrower. 30? 31 points per? 31 points per, he tipped it almost, and he tipped it over 800 three-pointers this season. So he did his thing, man. He did his thing. All right, let's see if we predicted two years in a row. Atlanta, we're rooting for you. We're rooting for you, ATL. Show, show me that you got that magic. Also, the Boston Celtics went from NBA championship contender or NBA championship appearance to missing the playoffs completely. They weren't even a play-in team. Where, where the heck did MVP Malcolm Brogdon go? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, we keep it moving, though. Every team that we thought was going to advance, advanced so far. So, we lost. Man, there Rose. I can't even be mad at you, my boy. Sadiq Bey, I could have went with the Warriors or repeated with the Pelicans. I would have been halfway there. And it's going to be... Oh, I thought the, the Pelicans just blew a 3-1, didn't they? The Pelicans just blew a 3-1 to Jordan Poole's 44. MVP Jordan Poole in the finals to go against Derrick Rose, the old self. The Warriors were the best team. Again, they got to win these last four. But I saw it, and I just was like, ah, oh, that's too easy. I should have just went with the gut. The gut was saying Warriors, and somehow I switched it up. All right. I only needed to get one right again. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping at all. See if they got a stud in this year's draft, too. Seth Elliott. Uh-oh. Anytime a center gets drafted. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say anytime a center gets drafted first, it's going to be a stud. Uh, this guy was not This guy was not a stud. The second overall pick is, though. Not, I'm, 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 I'm rocking with the beard, the Rick Ross. Uh, Judd Peterson. Um, why does that name sound familiar? I don't know. Great three-point shooter, though. Great playmaker. Positive defender. Uh-oh. He's 23, so he's old. But, like, he got everything it takes to be impactful now as an 80 overall. All right, let's see if this free agency class looked like um, last year. Let's see if I can get one more right. I want to get that last one right. Ooh. Oh, restricted free agency for a lot of these dudes. So we won't see probably a ton of player movement. I'm looking at these year, this year's rosters, and I'm like, man... Don't nobody look very interesting other than me doubling down on last season and saying Atlanta's going to do it. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the Pelicans. They signed Cole Anthony. He was a restricted free agent. I had no idea he was going to move spots. I'm going with the Pelicans again, man. No team has 580-plus overall players. No team other than them. I, oh, I take that back. Nah, I'm still, I'm still going, I'm still going with the Pelicans. I feel like the Pelicans can get it done again. Young man just became the youngest MVP in NBA history at 21 years old, right? How, how was Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose was 22, so, so yeah, he, he was the youngest MVP in NBA history. There it is. Um, we had to get rid of all the starters. Derrick Rose did it in the league where LeBron was around. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tracy Gordon, who was the fourth overall pick, wins Rookie of the Year. Ben Simmons, Sixth Man of the Year. Chat DPOY. 
uh, Ewing wins most improved at form 14th overall pick. What? Those numbers did not look better. Okay. I mean, I guess slightly. I guess slightly. Uh, Quinn Snyder with his Atlanta. No. Did I pick him wrong again? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I'm just going to say the Pelicans have been consistently the three seed. And the Atlanta Hawks have been the one seed every single year. Every single year, right? All three of these years, the Atlanta Hawks have been the one seed. Yet, they still ain't got no championship. Only one person averaged 30 points per. It's Shaden Sharp again on pace to break the all-time leading score record. Um, LeBron counts your days because Shaden Sharp is on the way. All right, we get out of the first round. Um, good, thing, good thing we didn't pick Shaden Sharp and them to get out of get out of the first. Rico? Rico? R Rico? No, Reggie. Huh. It's kind of weird that we get an Art Hines in here, right? It's not Rico. All right, all right, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Where's our Pelicans, man? Two games away, and they lost to, to the Golden State Warriors. It took seven, and then, whoa, whoa, they lost by a ton of points. A ton of points. All right, um, Atlanta's here. So I doubled down the Pelicans and not on Atlanta, but good thing I didn't because the Atlanta didn't do it either. It's Tyus Jones versus Emmanuel quickly in the NBA Finals, man. No, 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 that, that's Sheku Dumbuya is back in the league. And Emmanuel quickly just won Easter Conference Finals Player of the Year, whatever you want to call it, coming off of the bench. I mean, he's next level elite. He's next level elite. Game one of the series is a Grizzlies win. Who? B. Pierce? Okay. All right, Bryce, do your thing. I mean, it didn't matter. You end up losing. Game two, Grizzlies three, uh, New York. Can the Knicks get one? Can the Knicks get one? Come back 3 1, New York. Come back 3 1, New York. Nah, they end up losing the seven to Tyus Jones who uh, only had one assist and one turnover. That's not like him. A one-to-one -one assist to turnover ratio is abysmal. Oh, I was looking at the wrong person. Ha! The Tyus had an 11 to... Okay, all right. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. No jersey for y'all. I predicted right in the first year. That's all that matters.